There wasn't one thing that really inspired me to become a professional decorator. Um, I just didn't want a job that was sat at a desk, something that I could do. So I actually went to City Training Services and they had a list of the sort of things that they offered and painting and decorating was at the bottom. And I thought, I'll be good at that because I'm very creative and arty. So I gave it a go and four years later, here I am. <laughs> My apprenticeship was three years and it involved pretty much everything that decorating covers. My first two years um, I did block release it was called so I did like two weeks at a time at college and then I'd do like three or four weeks at work um, and then in my third year it was day release so it was just every Monday. Um, probably preferred block release just because it, it was just a big chunk and you could get more done. When I finished my apprenticeship um, my tutor said to me, you know, there's so many things that you can build from just from having a painting and decorating um, qualification. Like you said, the, I've looked into interior design, I've looked into architecture, I've looked into potentially owning my own business, um, even moving up at Bagnalls, becoming a manager, all that kind of thing. It's just sort of limitless, really. <laughs> I think one of the most important qualities to have as a decorator is to be patient, to enjoy what you're doing as well. I think a lot of people that get into the trade and they, they just don't have the passion, so you don't have the energy to do the job and then you don't do a good job of what you're doing. So I think you've got to have a genuine enjoyment, first and foremost. I think the thing I enjoy the most is probably the variety of things that I do. I've done all sorts. At the minute I'm doing something um, in an old people's home, so even something like that, just meeting all the residents and stuff is lovely. Um, it's never a dull day. <laughs> if it is a male dominated industry, I would love to see more women doing it and I think that women are just as capable. Obviously things like height, I'm a lot smaller than men but there's ways and means around that so there's just nothing that can't be done by a woman in a difference to a man. It's not something that should be different. So I think a woman can do it just as good as a man anyway. Definitely think that the quality of the brushes and the rollers is important. Especially with things like cutting in is really important just to get a perfect crisp line. Um, obviously if the surface isn't good, you need a good brush to counteract that. You know, with like even scrapers and stuff I've had ones with different brands that have broke, which isn't good. Filling knives, if they get damaged, it can make it difficult. Everything that I have is purdy. 